Lights, Camera, Action. Welcome back to Flick Flash. Tom Clancy's Jack Ryan, one of Prime Video's most popular shows, has finished filming its third season. The show has been a reliable producer for Prime Video and a pleasant surprise for John Krasinski fans, who have transformed the character of the cerebral federal agent into a show that functions as a thriller for the cerebral kind. There is no question about Krasinski's role this season. Season 3 of Tom Clancy's Jack Ryan, which features returning favorites like Wendell Pierce's James Greer, Michael Kelly's Mike November, newcomer Nina Haas played by Tar, and an outstanding performance by veteran character actor James Cosmo, is undoubtedly his best yet. What transpired in Season 3 of Tom Clancy's Jack Ryan Episode 1 In order to gather details regarding a potential Russian nuclear weapon, Jack Ryan successfully completes his assignment. It turns out that the scientist seeking refuge is among the Russian freighter's cargo when he arrives to pick it up. He has been working on the Sokol Project, a once active Russian effort to develop a nuclear weapon that is untraceable by military radar. At the same moment, the Russian defense minister was shot and murdered in front of Nina Haas, the president of the Czech Republic. Radik, a member of her detail, then shot and killed the assailant. The CIA needs a fall man when the mission fails and Yuri is killed in front of Jack, so Jack flees. Episode 2 It has been discovered that Alexei Petrov, the new defense minister, was responsible for Popov's murder. Petrov gives Luke the task of locating and bringing in Jack Ryan, who is the subject of a CIA red alert. What we didn't anticipate was that Radik's wife, Alina Kovacs, head of her security detail, was the one who brought the Patsy set up as the assassin. Greer gave President Kovac an update on the situation in Russia in Episode 3. They believe Popov was slain because he pretended to be a hardliner but actually sought reform in the Russian government. However, Kovac's father, Petr, is her most dependable advisor. Why then is he inviting Petrov, the country's new defense minister, over for a night of drinking and hunting? When Greer looks into the murder, she discovers a video that clearly shows Radik leaving her side before the shooting. He informs Kavak of the possibility that he is a spy working for her. Additionally, in a shocking turn of events, it is discovered that the infamous Kremlin agent the United States is receiving intelligence on Sokol from Luka. Finally, Jack meets Mike November, a friend, who offers to fly him to safety and out of the country. In episode 4, Greer discovers that Radik had served in Petr Kavak's regiment in the Czech Republic Army, proving that the two must be connected. To learn more about Sokol's whereabouts, Jack and November scheme to set up a sting operation on a Hungarian arms dealer. Radik kidnaps his president to stop the situation. Episode 5 In the end, Radik is trying to save Alina since he believes the covert plot has gone too far, but is trapped for his former mentor fails, and Petter murders them. Petter claims to have manipulated events to ensure his daughter's victory in order to acquire access to knowledge and ultimately, power. He aspires to restore the previous Russia. Alternatively, restore Russia's greatness. We also discover that Petter was formerly a Russian soldier who just avoided being shot dead for treason for attempting to stop the Makosla massacre. At the Makosla site, while Jack and a crew try to seize the Sokol, Luka flees with the weapon. Why? He has to find the mastermind behind everything, and the only way to achieve that is to give them the bomb. In Episode 6, Jack and Mike devise a strategy to intercept Sokol by having it explode inside a NATO truck hidden within a parkway ramp beneath a mountain. Sokol was found to have been disguised as an American-made bomb by the gang responsible for this scheme. Luca catches Petter, who is then turned over to the police. However, planning for this NATO vehicle to transport nuclear material is the last step before a full-scale conflict between the United States and Russia. Seventh episode, a strategy named Crossbow that is more about power than a nuclear weapon is revealed in the penultimate episode. Jack said that Sokol was never about a nuclear weapon or launching a war. Power always played a role. A written letter that documents an effort to remove the Russian president and launch a full-fledged war escalation with the United States has been discovered by him. Greer offers Petrov shelter in the United States in episode 8, but he rejects it. Kovac plays a video of Petrov admitting to the plot to topple his president at precisely the same time. When they are assigned to apprehend Petrov and he draws a gun, the security detail for the Russian president murders him. While Luka joins a Russian battleship in an effort to spark a confrontation that would trigger a new global war, Jack arrives on a US warship. Jack can convince the ship's captain to deviate from the rules of engagement, and Luka can detain the Russian commander, who is a participant in Operation Crossbow. The gallantry of Jack and Greer is recognized, but Luka is last seen being led into the Kremlin, and the atmosphere is tense. Thank you once again for being a part of Flick Flash. Until next time, keep watching, keep exploring, and keep that movie and TV magic alive. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and stay tuned for more exciting recaps. This is Flick Flash, signing off.